A cabinet minister in Maharashtra government and the mayor of Mumbai have in separate comments talked about the possibility of the onset of a third wave in Maharashtra. Now, Mumbai cases are up 55% as compared to what they were two weeks ago. Cases have seen an uptick in Nagpur as well. A uh, 150% spike in the last fortnight, even though in absolute numbers, the cases continue to remain low. What should we make of these comments about uh, the onset of a third wave. We've heard from uh, the administrators and the politicians. Let's also hear from a doctor. We have Dr. Avinash Bhonwe, senior physician and former president, IMA Maharashtra State, joining us. Thank you very much, doctor, for being with us. Uh, you know, very simply put, there are two separate comments that have come in from the mayor of Mumbai and a Maharashtra uh, cabinet minister talking about the fact that this is the third wave that we are seeing in Maharashtra. Would you agree? Uh Actually, the uh, comment which was made or the decision which was announced by the uh, Honorable Minister, Mr. Rauth at Nagpur and uh, Mayor of Mumbai was, uh, I don't think it's a scientific thing because uh, 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 this uh, uh, Health Minister of Maharashtra State has already uh, talked about it, that there is no third wave right now in Maharashtra, not in, uh, in Mumbai, neither in uh, uh, Nagpur. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I must say uh, there are, see, if you see uh, the th second wave of COVID, the number of cases in Maharashtra are going down. Uh, only thing in last few days, uh, you may you must see uh, in the month of August, the number of cases were not going uh, to the lower side. They were remaining steady uh, around four to 6,000. Right. Now it is coming down. Uh, and in such, this is called as a flattening of the curve. But in such cases, there are always seen, if you see the epidemiological history, hmm. there are always upsurges at certain level. Hmm. So whatever we are observing at certain places like Mumbai, Pune or some regions in even in uh, Nagpur, there are upsurges. They are slightly, they go up. No, and the reason, go the reason I'm, I'm even asking you this question and the reason, you know, it warrants clarity at the moment is because that's exactly how the second wave started. You know, if you recall yeah. the trajectory, there was an upsurge yeah. in cases. At that time, yeah. we were still figuring out the Delta variant. We know that Delta right. variant was localized to Amravati, Vidarbha regions. It then gradually yeah. spread across the state of Maharashtra yeah. and, of course, all over the country. What we're seeing right, right now is a uptick in cases in Mumbai and an uptick in cases in, in Nagpur. And like I said at the very outset, this isn't also very high in terms of absolute numbers. But the, isn't this the way it starts, doctor? And can you clarify yeah. whether yeah. you yeah. are concerned I mean, about these two areas yeah. right now? With a uh, study of epidemiology, uh, I will uh, give a few points. There are four major points. The first is uh, in the natural history of any pandemic, uh, the uh, coming of all these uh, first and second, all the waves is mm -hmm. a common thing. So third wave is going to come. Now, the problem, the problem is uh, it must start uh, any wave, uh, any new wave must start with a new variant. It is not the old variant again going up. It never happens. So the new variant has to be there. Uh, right now in uh, Maharashtra, we have seen the variant of Delta uh, virus, uh, which is called as Delta Plus, was yes. found at certain places, uh, especially in Ratnagari and Jargao, the number of cases were very high. And uh, uh, the Maharashtra government uh, started the genome sequencing in the sampling type of way. Every district will send 100 samples every month. Right. Uh, the percentage is low. Uh, as uh, you discussed uh, uh, some time back, that uh, the percentage is low, but that will definitely give some uh, idea uh, that uh, the new virus is increasing. In last time, uh, uh, when we discussed, uh, that time the government was not even ready to accept that there is a new virus which is uh, there in Maharashtra. Okay. So now the government is very much aware and they are uh, absolutely they are keeping a very close eye. Hmm. The third more important thing which is very worrying, these are external factors that uh, with the controlling measures by the government usually like uh, uh, test facilities, the increasing the testing, the contact tracing, the genome sequencing, all these things are now not very uh, up to the mark. And the fourth most important thing uh, in which a wave appears is again uh, there are chances because the, uh, observe, uh, the observing all the uh, appropriate behavior, hmm. all the uh, important uh, uh, preventive aspect, this is not but seen by the common people. Are you worried specifically about Mumbai and Nagpur very quickly, given the fact that we are going into festival season? Uh, you know, this no, weekend is Ganesh Chaturthi. It's a big yeah, festival yeah, in Maharashtra. Yeah, yeah. Right now, 
Ganesh festival will be there day after tomorrow yes. and uh, it's a very big festival not only in Mumbai or Nagpur it is everywhere in Pune in Satara all the district uh, the Ganesh festival definitely occurs the government has given uh, proper instructions but uh, as you know few days back there was uh, um, the dahi handi uh, this thing like uh, after the janmashtami uh, it was rather the, some political parties observed it uh, without rather uh, they didn't follow the government's uh, uh, re instructions and restrictions and it was there in addition to that there are political rallies and social uh, activities are going on hmm. so this factor the fourth factor which is the depends on the people it again shows some uh, that there will be if suppose we get a new variant then government the, on government side there is laxity on people side they are not following all the, this thing hmm. so uh, the third well will definitely come but for that will have to get uh, this new variant in a larger amount which is not being seen so it will happen that's why the projection is that it will happen in a month or two maybe uh, by the end of october it may take two months but but at the same time all these things are carried out with some discipline some scientific factor like government increases the uh, <laughs> testing and all these uh, uh, micro containment zone and other things right. and also people start uh, observing all these covid appropriate behavior okay. then okay. definitely uh, the, uh, the uh, if even the third wave comes the number of cases will be less and of course if we increase the vaccination Hmm. the severity of this condition will be less All and right. of course the well, death think, rate will go down yes well i think those are very important clarifications amid you know all of the talk of the third wave i think the doctor they're clarifying uh, that this isn't indeed just yet the onset of the third wave but uh, you know we have to up the caution and not let our guard down come festival season uh, and especially in maharashtra big festival coming up this weekend we'll keep a close watch on that story thank you very much dr bondway for joining us thank you thank you